I'm Kevin Cork. It's our chance to check in with our national columnist, Dennis Dodd, here on the program. Time to play a little true or false with Dennis as we look forward to the week in college football. Dennis, let me ask you about LSU. True or false, the Bayou Bengals will lose at least once before the big rematch with Alabama November the 3rd. Yeah, we talked about that. I think there's a good possibility that happens unless they get things focused. This week at Florida, uh, they got they have to go on the road a couple more times for that. They just need to start playing well. Uh, it's all, it almost seems like LSU is looking forward to Alabama, you know, having that game at home. Zach Mettenberger was supposed to be the difference maker at quarterback. He, he's obviously an upgrade over Jefferson Jordan. They haven't run the ball as well. And, and I think the defense has just been unfocused. Uh, and maybe it's the quality of competition. They've played a couple of rummies in Towson and Idaho um, and North Texas as well, and just haven't gotten as focused, I think, as they need to be. Maybe we'll see that this week against Florida. Listen, they better figure it out, because if they play Alabama like they've played some teams already this mm-hmm. year, they'll shut, they'll be shut out again, just like they were in the title game. We continue our look at True Falls with Dennis Dodds here on College Football 360. Dennis, how about Northwestern? Is Northwestern, that's right, the Wildcats, are they going to win the Legends division in the Big Ten? Well, you have to understand, they're 5-0 and right now, Kevin, but they've done this in three of the last five years. Um, and that we've talked about the same thing. Now, in those two previous times they started 5-0, and they're 6-10 and after that. So the bulk of their schedule still has to come up. They still have to play Nebraska. We know that. You wouldn't think they'd win. Um, to go through that division, you're probably going to have to finish losing one, maybe two, to go to the championship game. I think Northwestern's a good story right now. I don't think they're going to win the division. Yeah, they always seem to tease you for some reason, and then we all buy in, and then they, they lose one or two down the stretch. How about the Big East, Dennis? True or false? Is the Big East better than the ACC? Well, it's you know what? It's kind of a push because I'm looking at the top three teams from each league. You know, ACC has Florida State, Clemson, and Miami really right now, all undefeated in the league. The Big East has Rutgers, Cincinnati, and Louisville. Cincinnati just beat an ACC team in, the, in Virginia Tech. That was a great win for them. Mm-hmm. But the eye test still tells me that the ACC is deeper. I think those three teams are better than the three teams I just mentioned. Louisville, I, I don't even know what to make of their Southern Miss game. It was in a, it was in a downpour. Maybe they would have routed Southern Miss on a dry field. So uh, I'll give them a break there. But they are 5-0. and oh. The difference may be Florida State being, you know, a top five team and maybe back and maybe playing for the national championship. So I still think the ACC is a little deeper, and their top three are better than the Big East top three. I'm still hearing a little skepticism about that Florida State, but we'll <laughs> talk about that <laughs> at another time. We continue our look at True Falls with Dennis Dodd here on College Football 360. Dennis, I love to talk about the eventual BCS buster, and I'm still predicting that Ohio will somehow make things very interesting at the end of the year. But let me ask you about another team. How about Louisiana Tech? Will they bust the BCS? You know, it, it, it's going to be tough. Uh, and, uh, Bruce Feldman, my, or our uh, colleague, was all over Louisiana Tech in the off season. so credit to him for pointing this out, that he thought this was a top-15 team going in. And they've already beaten two BCS schools on the road, Illinois and Virginia. Uh, their lowest scoring game so far has been 44 points against Virginia. And now they get into the to the meat of their not not the meat of their schedule their wax schedule they still have Kevin a, a home game uh, from against Texas A and M on October 13th that was a game that was moved because of the hurricane um, and that comes at a great time because they will have six games under their belt five games under their belt and get Texas A and M an SEC team coming in that might be able to get them on the radar but the problem for Louisiana Tech right now is that they're unranked. And the BCS standings come out in three weeks. Beating A&M the week before those standings come out would be a huge boost. But at that point, they then become Boise State. They have to face that weak whack schedule. And what was the argument against Boise State all these years? They didn't play enough good teams. Well, we shall see. If they beat three BCS teams, that's going to be a lot more than some of these other teams playing in BCS games. And you make a great point, too. Sometimes you're blessed by the fact that Boise State has done so well 
now that they've been given some opportunities. They've proven that they can actually play with some mm-hmm. of the big boys, so maybe there will be some ancillary benefit for Louisiana Tech. Good stuff, as always. Dennis Dodd joining us here on College Football 360. And a reminder, you can always write Dennis a note. Just send him a note by way of Twitter. If you have a question, his Twitter handle is Dennis Dodd CBS. And if your question's good enough, we just might get to it right here on College Football 360. And don't forget, we have a big weekend coming your way. We have a huge game in the SEC. SEC live coverage of the LSU Florida game coming up this weekend. Will it be the Gators or the Bayou Bengals? We have the showdown coming your way right here at 3.30 Eastern Time, live streaming on CBSSports.com.